As Oprah Winfrey now being markled, as they say. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. As ever, I hope you're keeping well and everything's fine and dandy in your world. Let me tell you, we're in the Parliament Square Gardens today. And forgive me if I sneeze, but they've just been cutting the lawn, playing havoc with my hay fever. But as ever, back to your royal story. Yes, well, today's story basically centres on that now infamous interview between Harry, Meghan and Oprah Winfrey. And moving forward with that, all about, of course, his tell-all book, which we can look forward to in the early part of next year. I'm already riveted, I don't know about you. But where it gets interesting as ever for me is simply what's really behind the scenes of the book and how basically Random House are going to try and recoup some of that 20 million just for signing Prince Harry to write his first book. And let's be honest here, what really can he say that we don't already know? There are a few things that we're all really keen to learn about, but whether they'll be addressed in the book remains to be seen. But here's one big revelation that came my way, and it does concern the celebrity interviewer, Oprah Winfrey. Now, she sat down with Meghan, the former cable TV star, and Prince Harry to reveal all way back in March. An interview, apparently, that had been ongoing, if you listen to the interview itself, from the moment that Meghan decided to marry into the British royal family. But as Meghan openly said on camera, the time wasn't quite right then. Well, Penguin Random House are looking further afield than Oprah Winfrey, simply because they feel that, well, with two interviews behind her already with Prince Harry, they need someone to go deeper and possibly harder. But really, will that be the case? As we know, Prince Harry's great at evading the questions and he plays that boyish charm with greater plum. But what the publishers are looking for are really salacious tidbits that are going to sell not just the interview, but the book. Now, so far, they're keeping under wraps who they would like, but it appears for now that Oprah Winfrey could be being sidelined in case, of course, she was thinking she may be up for the job. It must be so depressing for Oprah. After all, she fully endorsed that organic coffee that Meghan, well, gushed about on, of course, Instagram. And then they became fast friends, of course, after Oprah received that much sought after invite to the royal wedding all those years ago now. What they are looking to do, though, is it certainly be a separate interview, one with Meghan for her side of her feelings about the book and one with Harry. So it won't be a dual sit down interview together. Remember, you heard that here first. But more importantly for Oprah Winfrey, if you're watching, and I'm sure you're watching every day, you're out. Neil Sean in the heart of London.